The following review is going to be on Studio Series Galvatron number 90 from Age of Extinction. Stay tuned. Rodimus Peel here again, and today we're going to do a review of Studio Series Voyager Galvatron from the Transformers Age of Extinction movie. All right, first we'll take a look at the box. You've got Galvatron in his robot mode. Studio Series Galvatron, the Transformers Generations logo, Takara Tomy. There is the Age of Extinction logo, <clears throat> another Age of Extinction logo, uh, Voyager class, <clears throat> full body. And notice the crushed box, thank you Amazon. It says big screen inspired, Hong Kong Pursuit. <clears throat> he is a Freightliner official licensed product. And Galvatron leads the KSI Decepticons into Hong Kong to gain control of the seed. Backdrop included. <clears throat> now, I couldn't find this guy in stores, so I had to order him on Amazon and look at the way the box came in. Good thing I'm not a really box enthusiast, or else I'd be pretty mad because this guy is all torn up. <clears throat> all right, and since I already had my son open him up, to see what shape he is we're just gonna do it all <clears throat> on video right here okay now oh god even the even this is all trashed <clears throat> first thing we notice is I love how they started packing these and they this is the cardboard that everything comes attached to <clears throat> Both the both weapons were attached here and here, I guess, and he was all strapped in. <clears throat> and notice this is the same backdrop as this. So Hasbro didn't really need to do this. They could have easily strapped them onto a plain piece of cardboard, <clears throat> but <clears throat> they've been going that extra mile and packaging in a double scene. So we'll put that to the side, and here is the actual Transformers number ninety. Age of Extinction, and we'll put Galvatron there. All right, next. <clears throat> Excuse me. He comes with two weapons. One is a very small handgun. Here it is. Now, this is real tiny compared to the original Age of Extinction handgun was this bad boy with the launching effect. So somehow they've kind of shrunk it down to this little thing. So, and <clears throat> he comes with six rockets, a little rocket pack where if you want, there's a little tab on his arms. So you can tab that to his arm and the gun <clears throat> is very hard to put on for some reason. It goes like that. So it kind of covers up one hand. And can you put them on the other hand? Uh, yes. So that is the gun and is molded in silver. It's detailed a little, but not that much. It's just a tiny little gun. <clears throat> and then before we look at the Galvatron figure, there is the instruction booklet. <clears throat> Number 90, Galvatron 8+. Now, you can store his rocket pack inside his chest when he's in robot mode, or you can put his gun on his, hand, on his uh, hand, and simple instructions. Now, what's weird about this is the instructions tell you you can put the missile pack underneath the hood, and you can put the gun attached to the back, but the instructions don't say that you could put the rocket on the side of the truck or that you could put the rockets on the side of the hand. So I don't really know why. Let's see, it'll fit there. It only fits into this little groove right there. You stick that in there. <clears throat> Not really sure why the instructions don't even tell you that, but <clears throat> they do. All right, now look at the Galvatron figure himself. <clears throat> oh, what a face. Look at that face. I mean, that is just pure, pretty cool. And the detail, it's got some blues, some red eyes, some silver and gray. 
you go down the chest, you got the copper. In the hole in the chest, you got some blue, some silver with the gray. Again, you get the silver and the gray. You got some blue right there. <clears throat> go down the waist, you got silver, the gunmetal gray. So it's a whole bunch of silver and gray all mixed in and black. And so he's actually very clean. I mean, the old figure was a... <clears throat> The old Galvatron was a shell former, and this guy is, they, they really had to find a way to hide the car parts. And for the most part, they did. Yeah, you can see the legs there, but you really can't see any more of the car parts, because the way in the movie, he just disassembled himself and reassembled, which was kind of weird. He's a handmade, he's a human-made transformer, <clears throat> so... But go see Age of Extinction, no spoiler alert there. <clears throat> and let's see, for articulation, the head goes around, goes up and down, the arm goes around 360. <clears throat> I love how they add these little extra piece there so it doesn't look real bad. Now when this guy first came out, the elbows look kind of weird, but they don't look that bad in real life when you have the figure in hand. And this folds all the way up. It's on a double joint and it rotates 360 degrees. You got 360 degrees waist. Kick up, kick back, kick side, 90 degree bend. And you've got the ankle tiltage. <clears throat> so all in all, a pretty good figure. Heads and tails over the original Galvatron from the 2014 line, which we will look at in more detail after the robot to robot comparisons. All right, <clears throat> now to, here is the original Galvatron. Now I broke mine years ago, I was transforming him and instead of folding out, I think I try to go up and I broke it. And through the years I've tried to fix them. You can see the um, little plastic broke off right there where this slides in. But for right now, we'll just hold them there. So here is the two Galvatron figures. So this guy was very disappointing. Basically he was a shell former. The whole cab just fits on the back of, of the back on it. It just folds in. And his legs pretty I mean pretty much almost like prime basically. You just twist them sideways. There's the wheels. But if you look at the actual detail <clears throat> you've got you got the same hole in the chest. You got more of the pipes here, so they're a little less prominent there. On the face sculptures, you got the same almost design, but his horns are bigger. His orange. He's more of a dull gray and blue. He's more of a gunmetal gray. This guy is all blue. This guy's not. And here is that hole in the chest. You can put Prime's thing in. Goes in that much. And here it can go in that much so you got you know but the back is where the big difference is I mean that's the whole front the whole top of the truck is right there and this one they actually hit everything so there it is side by side and yes the old one is a little bigger but I mean the complexity is way different this guy is a lot more hard and, and I think it looks a lot more better than this guy in robot mode now, in vehicle mode, I would say this guy gets the nod, but you'll see that later. So, we'll just put this guy away and transform him. <clears throat> now, let's get to Galvatron's transformation. I meant robot to robot comparisons. Okay, in our first comparison, we're going to bring in the original 2014 Age of Extinction Galvatron. Basically, it was a shell former, so what they'd done was a lot better. And then we're going to start with G1 Galvatron. I'm going to do the robot reviews a little differently this time. So there is G1 Galvatron. I'm going to put him in the background. And then we're going to bring in the Generations Galvatron, which is a pain in the neck to transform. So I never want to see this guy again. We'll put him over there. <clears throat> And then our next Galvatron, we're going to bring in Titan's Return Galvatron. So now we're getting more toward the 86 movie version. 
And then we're going to bring in the quintessential Kingdom Galvatron, which might as well be Studio Series 86 because he's as close as you're ever going to get to a real Galvatron. And we're just going to put all these guys back here. And we'll bring in this guy. So here is all my Galvatrons. So a pretty cool collection. I'm finally glad they brought Galvatron to the main movie line. Although he's not what we thought he'd be. <clears throat> now we're going to get rid of all these guys. And now we're going to bring in Megatron from The Last Night and Megatron from Revenge of the Fallen. Now, the Voyagers were a lot bigger. Now they've gone to be a lot smaller. But that is, so Revenge of the Fallen and The Last Night Megs. And now we're gonna bring in The Last Night Optimus, which was the same as Ave Extinction Optimus. So that's how those two guys compare. And then since we were in Age of Extinction, here is Nitro Zeus. and stinger <clears throat> so now we got oh my god nobody's standing up nowadays so that is our decepticons from age of extinction <clears throat> and it couldn't be age of extinction without a dinobot so i'm just going to bring in the voyager scorn in dinosaur mode this is my favorite dinosaur i'm, I'm so glad they upscaled him from a deluxe to a voyager and that is how Galvatron compares to one of the, there, one of the Dinobots. So, <clears throat> big improvement over the original Galvatron. And um, I think they made him work pretty good. Okay, now let's transform him. Okay, to transform him, <clears throat> let's make sure all the weapons are off. And what you want to do is rotate at the bicep 180 and fold these up so we rotate at the elbow actually and fold these up 180 and then you want to unpeg these right here and then we're going to bring this down <coughs> turn them over oh. now normally he's going to be like that so we're going to pull this down and we're going to pull this whole section up and then we're going to pull this up and not snap that into place but put it like that so now what we're going to do is rotate his head there and then we're going to bring this down it's on double hinge and fold these in now these aren't really going to pop in <clears throat> what you want to do is just get them like that where the arms are roughly like that so this could fold over <clears throat> all right and then we'll come over here make sure this is in we'll take these pieces and they got a little tab right there so we'll tab that in come the other side and we'll just tab <clears throat> we'll get this nice and straight <clears throat> All right, so now let's do the bottom. So I'll come to the feet here. You want to disconnect at the waist. So what you want to do is pull this out. These kind of wrap around like, I forgot what other figure does this. Oh, the iron hide does this. So you want to wrap this around. And then this whole area is going to swivel up and then it's gonna swivel around and then take the wheel fold it out like that so they're both on one side and this you're gonna separate the feet like that push it here and you're gonna fold them both up like that and that is one leg done <clears throat> now the other leg again you this doesn't fold in it just rests there so you want to fold the whole leg, whoops, again, friction hinges, they pop off left and right. Pull the foot down, and then, which, god damn it. Uh, all right, let's put this back on again. I don't know why this guy's giving me trouble now. Of course, 
while the video is on, it gives you trouble. So, <clears throat> oh yeah, we're gonna rotate this up and then slide it out like that. And then you could take this wheel, put it on the same side as the other one, separate the feet, fold it up, <clears throat> and fold it up. So that's what you got right here. <clears throat> <clears throat> now what you're going to do is basically you're going to get this on top of here. Now this clip here is going to go, here let's try it. So do you want to put this on top of here. And we'll get these out of the way, these little tires. So <clears throat> now we're basically folding this in. And this will tab here, tab here. You got that tab right there. We'll go in this hole. And this tab will go into the front. So you just want to get this tabbed in. And like I said, everything nowadays is friction hinges. And it's a pain in the neck because they all keep coming undone. And let's try the other side. We'll swing this down. Now it's just a matter of all getting everything pegged in correctly. And it may take you a few tries to get this guy nice and flush. All right. <clears throat> and once you get all that done, get all easy peasy squeezy. Let's get this plugged in there okay so now you'll see a little tab here you want to go into that slot so get these nice and centered all right and these you can push together they basically just come together and then that basically is your truck and you just got, like I said, this guy, you might need to spend a few minutes getting everything lined up. So now that side's pretty good. And then the other side, it's all, it all folds up into each other. And I'm just going to keep this on the actual view. Because if, if this is perfect in the first time, people be like, oh, he was so easy in that review. I like to do mine real. Part of the way I do my reviews <clears throat> is I like to do it as they come packed. Okay, this guy comes back in the robot mode. So <clears throat> I'm going to start in the robot mode. So when you get the figure, you know how to do it. Other people always do vehicle modes to robot mode, which is actually unfair to you. Because a lot of times, <clears throat> it is a lot harder to go from robot to vehicle than vehicle to robot. And I think we're done. So that is Galvatron. Oh, and this, these, everything nowadays is friction hinges. It's all friction hinges. So, and then this, you've got tab there and a tab here. So this is going to fold in and lock the front wheels in. And there you got Galvatron. <clears throat> and it only rolls pretty good. <clears throat> He's a Freightliner truck. You know, kind of looks like the old Motor Master. But you got the gray. Let's see. Let's look at him. You got the black front, very black tinted windows. You got some blue windows, blue lights up here. You got the silver going here. You got the blue lights. You got the black grill. You got the silver striping down the side, which is pretty cool. These are the tabs. They look like rear view mirrors. This is the only eye sort. Really not much they can do with it. It's the bottom of the feet. There is the back. Um, let's see. The other side is the same. The bottom. You really can't tell he's a transformer. And from the back, you can. Now, I don't know why the instructions don't have this, but you got a slot. Here's the missile launcher. Okay, and you've got these missiles right here. And that is right from the movie, Age of Extinction movie. So I don't understand why the instructions don't tell you to put that in there. Or you can put this on this side. 
depending on which way you like it. And there is the missiles. And of course, for storage, here is the gun. On this gun, you have this little tab right there. So what you want to do is in this space right here, you put the tab right, uh, this tab. You put the tab in, you put the tab in there, and then you can close this up. And it's got some clearance. And now, there you have Galvatron in his Freightliner mode. And this is the mode where I think they had to make the most sacrifices on. <clears throat> the robot mode, I guess they, it was more important than the vehicle mode. So, this, and it's not that bad when you compare it to the original 2014 Galvatron, all right? Even though he was a shell former, I mean, he, this guy did look a little better. I mean, this is all nice and cleaned up. Even molded in a trailer hitch. You got basically the same kind of striping going on. Uh, this is a little more black here and gray. There's the back. So this guy is pretty good in truck mode, but in robot mode, he was pretty bad. So that's why the Studio Series is a big improvement. And here's the gun. And I like how they had the firing guns. I wish Hasbro would go back to doing these, but they don't. But And of course, the Voyagers were a lot bigger than, than they are now. But still, I'm glad we got a Galvatron. We needed a Studio Series Galvatron for a long time. It's been, what, eight years since Age of Extinction came out? I think it was 2014. So there you go. Uh, now, since... Let's do some other comparisons. Since we got the Galvatrons, we're going to bring in... First, we're going to bring in G1 Galvatron. Completely different robot, I know. Different tank mode, but it's Galvatron. So there is the G1 Galvatron. Here is the Titan's Return Galvatron in his tank mode. This is the Kingdom, or I call Studio Series Galvatron, because that's about as close as we're going to get, I think. <clears throat> so let's do all the Galvatrons together. And then we're going to move into Movie Megatrons. So, whoops. Everything falls apart on these things. All right. So here is all our Galvatron figures except that nasty Generations tank. Because she's just horrible. All right. So enough of the Galvatron. Studio series or otherwise. <coughs> this is the Revenge of the Fallen Megatron tank. Another Voyager, another big Voyager. I mean, there is so much heaviness to this guy. So, we're still keeping with the gray and black design. I guess that's what Megatron lately is. So, that is the movie Megs from Revenge of the Fallen. <clears throat> and this is the Last Night Megatron. Somehow, the Transformium... Uh, Galvatron became a regular Transformer and he came back to Megatron with no explanation. So <clears throat> this is Megatron. So let's bring in all, here's all our movie Megatrons that we have so far. <clears throat> and then we're going to bring in, this might be the last night Optimus, but it is the same for the Age of Extinction Optimus. Um, they haven't had a studio series yet, so I'm still waiting for a studio series on this type of car, of truck. <clears throat> and then here is how he compares to Stinger, who was also a Decepticon in Age of Extinction. So there you have Galvatron and Stinger. And Nitro Zeus. He's a big Voyager. 
And that is Mega or Galvatron and Nitro Zeus from the last night. So here is all our Age of Extinction Decepticons. <clears throat> so now let's transform Galvatron back. Because <clears throat> I always do both ways. So we'll take the rockets out <clears throat> and we'll just take this gun out. <clears throat> Okay, so first things first, I guess we got to unpeg the legs like that. And then we're going to pull this out. We'll flip these up. <coughs> flip these up. <coughs> and around. And now what you got to do is come back here. Oh, unpull this. So get rid of the tires. That way we could put our hand in here, and instead of pulling that off, what I meant to do was pull this out, these friction hinges like that. <clears throat> pull the wheels down, and then other side, let's undo this, and then pull this up. And then we can rotate. <clears throat> now we got his legs like that. And of course that fell off again. So <clears throat> come down the feet. We're going to pull the feet together like that. Again, you want to take this wheel, fold it in, bring this foot down, rotate this around, come around, flip it up. <clears throat> See, it's a lot easier to go from vehicle mode to robot mode. I mean look how easy that is. What you want to do is pull the feet around. They peg into one another. Alright, fold this in, fold the leg down, rotate this whole piece, and then rotate this back and close it. Now see how easy that was? Now try doing it the other way. That's why you need to learn how to do it both ways. Okay. So, I'll come back here, we'll pull these out, come to the back, pull this up, this friction hinge was in it, popped off again. <clears throat> okay, get the head out, rotate it around. So, now we can actually, now while we're here, <clears throat> see he's got that little knob in his chest? If you want, you can just store this right in his chest, like that. Then you can fold up the chest, like that. Tab the arms back in, rotate these down, rotate them 180, rotate these down 180 so the elbows are facing the front. And now you can work on the back. Actually, put this in backwards. This goes like this. So, now what you do is you got to split this right here on a double hinge. This goes down. This rotates down. And now you have a little notch there. And this won't tab into it. But that notch fits perfectly in here. Stand them up. <clears throat> And now Galvatron is back to his menacing self. There we go. <clears throat> and that's it. So he's a lot easier, especially on the legs. It's a lot easier to do this guy from car to, to robot than it is from robot to car. And basically, no kibble. Look at that. He's very, no backpack at all. Uh, you can see two wheels here. <clears throat> and that's about it. You can't see any of the vehicle parts. They are all hidden on this guy, which is amazing. I mean, for what they had to work with. Let's see, can he hold his old gun? Yeah, let's make him hold his old gun. That looks better. <clears throat> From what they had to work with, I think they did a pretty good job. Is he perfect? No. Could he be better? Yes, but this Galvatron is heads and shoulders above what we had before. And the pictures had them like, I mean, the elbow looked bad, kind of like Cyclone is how, with the knees, 
The pictures didn't do him any justice. If you were afraid to get this guy because what he looked like in the pictures, forget the pictures. I mean, in hand, you could see I'll do different angles. He is a lot better in person than he is in any photo or picture. And I like him. I've always liked the Galvatron figure ever since G1. <clears throat> I was glad to finally see him in a movie, although I didn't like the way they did it with the disassembling and assembling and that he became Megatron with no explanation at all between the two movies, which happened a lot. But I digress. <clears throat> I guess that's about it. And I love the face sculpt. Look at that face sculpt. I have no soul. Anyway, so that's about it. So uh, make sure you like, subscribe, and share my channel. Turn on those notifications. We do videos a couple times a week. Not only do I do Transformer reviews, but I do um, new toy sightings. We do uh, DVD unboxings, Marvel, DC, all that good stuff. Just like and subscribe. I've got over a thousand videos, so if you go check the channel, just scroll through the playlist for stuff you like. Uh, might helps me a lot. This is not my full-time job. <clears throat> I actually work in forensics, so this is just a hobby of mine. Oh yeah, and if there's a link below to Big Bad Toy Store, Amazon, Entertainment Earth, whatever, feel free to click on those links and uh, help me out. So I guess that's it. So this is Rodman's Bill with Studio Series number 90 Galvatron saying... I have no soul. I am Megatron. Or I am Galvatron. Rodham's Bill out.